That's not good. Yeah, best of one. Okay, let's quickly go through the builds. Uh, this is going to be Firebrand, Red Team. Obviously playing Support Bunker Guardian. Nothing completely crazy there. Doesn't have Signet, though, for the res. So there is that. So we got Revenant playing over on power. Obviously, Leadership Marauder Amulet. He's going to be slaying his opponents. He's going to be the main assassin on, t on their team, along with the Thief. Uh, Catherine's going to be playing Warrior here as well. Quickly, it's actually... Oh, no. Spellbreaker Discipline. And strength there as well. Going for strength rune demolisher. And then we've got the burn. We got the burn. We've got rune of Balthazar though, actually. I think he's going hardcore burns here with uh Doomfire, obviously. Doomfire was big back in the day. Deadshot Amulet of Balthazar. He's really going for those burns. Shadow. He's gonna be playing SD Thief, of course. Very evasive, does a ton of damage. Uh, and obviously we'll be looking to get those decaps and caps around the map. Blue team going to be running Firebrand Scourge. Double Firebrand. Interesting. One's going to be damage. It's going to be this guy. Well, Sage. Might be both playing Sage. We'll see. Yeah, both playing Sage. One player with Monk, Spellbreaker, Hollow Smith, not Socks. So this is uh, Shorts, I think. Okay. Thief is in a lot of trouble. He needs to bail out of there, make sure he's okay. No, no, no. He's really, really focused. He does have Evade with. We see his leap there as well, but really, really big mistake. Rank comes in with the Rampage. He needs to be careful here. He's obviously pulled it away. I think anyone's going to come in for the res. Tank has not got uh, a signet to get that res either, so they are going to disengage and go back over to... They're actually going to far point right now. Warrior's escaping. He's condied up. Needs to be careful here. Does remove a couple of those. Obviously, Ranked Man and Peanut do come in for the kill. And they're going to grab themselves uh, just the mid cap at the moment. Red team actually disengaged together as an entire team, which is very good. Good job for them at least. So they can survive a bit longer, wait for the respawns to come out, distract over at the far node as well. Here comes the red team firebrand. He wants to get back in there if he possibly can. Although he's going to be on the node. That's good actually. Red team need to try and bring this fight over here if they possibly can to their firebrand so they can get some support. They are outnumbered there, 3v2. So don't want to be stuck there for too long if they can possibly avoid it. This is what's caused their death at the moment as well. They really should have brought that fight back over to their main support. And the Revenant probably going to go down as well. Warrior doing a good job just getting that cap at mid. They're actually getting a free cap here purely by rotation. They're losing all of the fights. <laughs> but they're literally winning the game through rotating. This is great stuff from the red team, really. If he can survive, he does. Um... There goes the thief though, it needs to be careful, ports out, needs to, needs to bail pretty hard. Necro coming out from the spawn as well, they're going to initiate this team fight here in mid, stop them possibly from going out from the sides. Warrior needs to chase the red team warrior here as well as he, blue team warrior, sorry, as he goes for the decap. The red team picking uh, their targets right now. Here comes the hollow smith though, the thief needs to just dip away, he does avoid that elite, good job from him. Now 2v1 on the hollow smith, can they take him down? They've got to be careful as he cleaves, good dodge from the... Uh, Revenant as well. They're going to get the decap. They look opting to go for the kill instead. Half. Oh, he has to be careful with this Hollow Smith. Have a look quickly in mid. See what's going on over there. Dwayne, Dwayna Incarnate, doing a good job of just cleaning up. Nice pull there as well. Good job. Really good damage down onto the blue team as they wipe mid up that pull. Whoa! Good job from the red team. They are going to nip and grab themselves a double. I have got the far node. I need to pick what they're going to do here. They're going to team up. We're going to see the blue team, red team guardian grab that uh, damage buff, obviously. That's an interesting... I think he's just taking it away from the blue team rather than actually picking it up for himself, obviously. If he does get that last, he's going to get the instant kill. Then we've got the instant survive from the rev. That's a really, really good buff for him to pick up there. Obviously, if he can get those insta kills... So that buff that he just picked up, if he kills someone, they get downstated. Well, when they're downstated, they, they just get dead. They get deaded. And now we're pushing over towards far. This is on a fresh respawn as well. Blue team do lose their warrior on the other side of the map as well. So they're respawning. No one's going to come over to save him. Warrior's going to take him out. He should just honestly just delete him. Rev's going to pick up his heal. He needs to use it now. Does indeed. Any damage on him? Oh, the Firebrand's in there as well. Look at these Firebrand. Such a great job from him as well. Blue team stuck a little bit. They do take the uh, Scourge out. 
Red team really separated right now as well. Really surprised that the Scourge is so far away from his Firebrand here. And they could actually really throw the game on pushing this far point. They need to disengage. They need to chill. And you need to remember what they've been doing earlier on in the game as well. They've had done a great job. I think three blue team have actually seen that they're still hanging out here. Three blue team members still over here as well. They are giving their time enough team team enough time to respawn. He has got the support here as well. Don't forget, he's going to go for the damage on the Holdsmith. That's brave. He knows he's got the support from his firebrand. Blue team members have actually left as well. And they could take out the engineer. They're going to get the decap. They're actually going to go for the kill here. Blue team leave the Holosmith. On his own because they're going to mid and now mid obviously they will outnumber here as well and they do get the downstate onto the thief downstate onto the firebrand as well though who do, does get the res back up and the thief is going to be completely annihilated there as well as the warrior so even though they were 2v1 on this side of the map they have lost out on mid lost a couple of members as well so whether or not that was worth it in the end don't think it was red team can at least respawn but they are going to lose close point two members of the blue team going there to decap that right now as well red team starting to regroup this far push in the end unfortunately wasn't the best for them they do get the kill on the hollow smith though and they do have the numbers on the map necro needs to be very careful here they need to make sure they downstate that actually finish that guy here comes the rest from the firebrand good fear good job from him no the res comes out big mistake Big mistake. They should have cleaved them out. This could be the this could be the turning point for blue team. If they could pick up a couple of kills here. You never know. Sox is really low though. He is pushing with low HP. Got to be careful. He's got Elixir S there ready to proc off. Uh, not proc off to be used if he so needs. Nice dodge. Needs to be careful. He uses it. He's going to get some support here. The Necro goes down though as well. Firebrand is disengaging. The Holler Smith is going to go down, unfortunately. And that's going to be Blue Team kind of screwed over on this side of the map. Using the Signet as well. Can't get the res. He's going to dip onto Node. Maybe should have just left because he is going to die. The Necro's there as well. Three men down. Not great for the red team, unfortunately. And now going over towards mid. Let's have a look if Jimmy is going to go down here. He's got support of the Thief. He's just helping him peel by just doing damage right now <laughs> onto the firebrand but the respawns coming out warrior versus warrior over on the close node for the red team we've got the guardian who is picking up the far node right now which is going to be i can't even remember the bloody name of the node now jesus christ lion it's a lion it's not that difficult unfortunately jimmy is going to go down on the other side of the map there as well good job from duena and the rest of the team he does go into the downstate res comes out for him no one really to back him up at all that cheeky little burning damage there. Obviously playing the Sage's amulet. Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Gonna grab that damage buff. Not damage buff, but um something that doesn't get used on him, does it? So when he gets the kill, obviously he's gonna be spiked down. Pretty much for an insta kill. Nice getting of that buff. Red team again getting the uh, other buff as well. So when you get downstated, you get revived pretty much straight away. It's a short time delay, but it is used right now. Feels like red team on the way to victory here, and blue team cannot come back right now. Unfortunately, they are going down here. Can Ken, Kenpachi, Peanuts, Necras, Veg, and Not Socks losing out and again in another one of those team fights. Red team. Really, from the beginning of the game, had such a... They were losing all of the fights. They were just losing so many people. And then they just they just out-rotated them completely. Really, really good job from them. Absolutely. Blue Team, don't think they can come back into this game. I fear it is too late. Normally, we see at this point... Uh, teams start to wane off a little bit. They need a solid regroup. They've got one more chance to possibly come back. Warrior not having the best time over here as well. I mean, while he's over here, he might as well distract for as long as possible. Not Socks. He's going to go to mid. And then when it finished killing him, Not Socks is going to be 1v2. He has to get the decap, though. Doesn't get it as well. Uses his elite on the, on the thief. I'm not sure that was the best choice. But. It pushes him away at least. Would have pushed him into ranked man. Can they get him down? Otherwise, he's going to get rallied. You better hurry up. He does. No, he's not. The warrior isn't going to live though. 
Good choice on the on the uh, on the vengeance though from the warrior and blue team do get the double cap. Last chance, as I said, for them to come back into this game. They get another kill. Chat, are we going to see a massive comeback from the blue team here? Obviously, the firebrand is down. Necro's low. Needs to try and make sure this guy stays down. Here comes the other blue team ranked man, just respawning as well. Firebrand could get a cheeky little kill here with some burning damage. They need if they can get this guy down. They need to get that decap though. They need to get over to the line. They need to push it. Skirt should be okay if he pushes now. Needs to be careful on the other side of the map as well. We do have the Warrior versus the Guardian right now as well. The Warrior, what am I talking about? <coughs> and the Herald's coming out to support him. Blue team do have sec the secure point as well. The Necro's in trouble here. Three members, four members of the blue team. They need to be careful that they don't get too bogged down. Looking for a cheeky decap right here from the firebrand as well they just have to disengage they need to go to other places on the map they need to go to the close node here comes the revenant he needs to go for that he needs to engage on this fight he can't just disengage this oh okay sorry wow this is i was thinking it's the other way around my bad completely they go, of course again they, they can go to mid they just need one point to actually get this game in their favor and just hold it they don't they lose mid Obviously, tank as well over on the other side of the map. I'm getting the two teams confused at right now. You have to forgive me. Um, I'm just slightly tired and being a bit rubbish. But the blue team do have a double cap. This is kind of ridiculous right now, actually. Jimmy Fallon on the other side of the map. He's going to be looking like he's going to go into downstate. He needs to pop off his heel. He hasn't got enough time. He might get interrupted. Good job from the block. There comes the Necro, the Scourge. He's going to back him up as well. He needs to get out of this if he possibly can. Don't think he can. Unfortunately, we'll go into down saying he will die. It looks like red team are coming back into this as blue team not dissipated well across the map. They will lose two, three people, and that probably will be the game, unfortunately. Good job uh, from the red team to come back there. Blue team. Almost bringing it back there. Although, res, if they can get the D cup on the other side of the map, maybe they do lose Necrat's fake, though, unfortunately. Um, decap there. Guardian could get on node. Warrior needs to decap in there. Not socks though. Low HP needs to disengage. This isn't a place for them to come back at all. It is the end of the game. GG's. Obviously. And that is the first game of the uh, North American June. Tournament. Done dusted.